June 30th marks the one-year anniversary of the Allen shooting where three officers and K-9 Drago were killed. We spoke to Floyd County Sheriff John Hunt about how the department is honoring their sacrifice and preserving their memory. Sometimes it feels like it was yesterday, sometimes it feels like 10 years ago. And um, but we started this morning, we had a private ceremony with the family, uh, Petrie's family was there and all the, all the guys and the different families. And um, so we just want to start out today by showing our love and appreciation to the families and um, letting them know that we're always here for them and gonna be. And, uh, and when, man, the strength of the families has really given us strength. I mean, to see what they're going through and how they've handled it and uh, see a 16, 17, 18 year old kid just keep going without his dad and go on to school and uh, see a wife pick up where she was at, you know, and do a little bit more and uh, take dad's place. So it's all uh, inspiring to us and uh, we're just uh, want to pay our respects today and uh, give some reflection and talk about uh, 365 days ago. Hard to believe. Cancer. It's a very scary word. But an outstanding treatment facility was here at home. I was led to the Lawson Cancer Center. As a nurse practitioner at the Lawson Cancer Center, we are champions for our patients. I am so happy for Robert. The treatment worked. Make it through the day, make it through the day. While the department is taking time to honor the lives of Deputy William Petrie, Patrolman Jacob Chaffins, Captain Ralph Frazier, and K-9 Drago, they continue to work to prevent tragedies like this from occurring. So we did the uh, the private ceremony this morning, the bridge dedication we just finished at 10.30, and then tonight at 8.30 we'll do the uh, candlelight vigil, and that's just um, a moment of peace and quiet, no speaking, no entertainment. It's just uh, stop in and give 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and uh, just give remembrance of what a year ago we were at this very time, what we were going through. And uh, so that's all for that. And, uh, but, but in the midst of all that, you know, we haven't forgot the other tragedies that's going on all around us. You know, the uh, murders of a young lady, the disappearance of a young lady, and the 911 calls that we're still picking up. So we're not putting anything to the side. It's just we're taking time out of yeah. our day to give a few minutes to our family and pay tribute and, and remembrance. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.